okay guys so now let's solve this problem it is very easy problem but a slightly uh, juggling of word is there that is if selling price is double the profit triples find the profit percent now you may wonder that nothing is provided nothing no 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 values are provided how can you just make the answer so in certain cases people are also being puzzled and they provide another uh, such option that is data inadequate data inadequate now, I, I found many students just tick this one because they found nothing there's no way to get it but this is wrong you can actually get this answer uh, by doing the math so always do the math then if you don't find the answer if you find some problem difficulties then go for the data inadequate part and otherwise you can just avoid those tasks because it's simply there to confuse you okay most of the time in fact so here here we go so if the selling price is double so obviously we are talking about cost price selling price and everything like that so if the cost price uh, if the selling price double then the profit triples right and we need to find the profit obviously uh, we need to know cost price otherwise we can't get profit loss gain saving price uh, selling price nothing else right so let's let's begin with it so if the selling price double so so let assume let's assume that the cost price here so let us assume the cost price here is rupees x and the selling price here is say rupees y cost price is x selling price is y so now let's say if the cost if the selling price dub, uh, doubled right selling price doubled so so the profit triples okay so let's let's go with it so selling price doubled so if if the selling price is doubled mean it is 2 into y selling price is getting doubled and then the profit will be tripled so let's say let's find the profit here profit will be nothing but selling price minus cost price so here comes selling price is y and the cost price is uh, where is it the cost price is x right yeah that's it that that's the case now they are telling so this is the profit this is the total profit here right now what happens if the selling price doubles what will be the phenomena there so when the selling price doubles the phenomena of getting the gain will be so the profit in this case remember if the if the selling price is y then the profit will be this but if the selling price doubles then the profit will be 2y minus obviously the cost price which is x so this is going to be the profit when it doubles doubles but when it is a normal when nothing is double the profit is this so both of them are profit when the selling price is not doubled this is the profit when the second price is doubled then this is the profit so these two things are kind of same but it is telling when uh, the selling price doubled the profit triples so if we need to make an equation using them the selling price got trip uh, this profit get tripled when we double this thing so so what how we can write we can write that 2y minus x equals to 3 into y minus x right because when the selling price is doubled the whole profit this is the profit right i'm not dividing it by profit i'm just marking it as profit okay so no conf confusion so it's a profit so what we will do now we get the equation so it's pretty easy to get the equation so we, what we can write that 2y minus x equals to 3y minus cx now what we will be getting here if we transfer x into that side so we will be getting 2x here equals to y because 3y minus 2y it will be y so the formula is now 2x equals to y or y equals to 2x whatever right so so if this is the profit right so we know so now let's write profit in normal situation profit in normal condition because uh, that's that's the case so profit means y minus x right so normally profit equals to y minus x so now what we know we know that uh, y minus x so here we go so instead of y what we can write we can write 2x because y equals to 2x we can write 2x minus x it is it is equals to x right so this is the profit right this is the profit so what is the net change of it now this is the profit and we all know the cost price is also x so what is the gain 
so the gain percentage formula remember the percentage gain formula was profit divided by the cost price into 100 so here it goes the profit is x cost price is also x into 100 so everything will be crossed and the answer will be 100 so the net gain percent is 100 here so is there yes here comes c and this is going to be the right option because that's what we get after the math right so it seems kind of problematic and i'm telling you a secret and that is once you find very small questions like that in math if you get larger problems that means more things are said and you need to find very little thing but if it is late less stated problem you need to find more things they put you less data that's the case okay so these are much more difficult to handle with so large questions you find easy to solve small portion tough to solve that's the basic fund of math there okay so that's kind of it and i hope that's helpful guys